How my heart aches When you look my way Everything starts to shake more I can't wait for love I'm going all out I might scream and shout And everything starts to shake Shake this feeling of And I can't shake this feeling of I'm letting go of everything And I'm holding on to you I'm letting go of everything And holding on to you Wishing stars by Losing track of time Everything starts to shake a more I can't wait for love Swamiji, in the Shaivite philosophy You were uh, the greatest living authority in Shaivism The Yamas and Niyamas are an important part yes, of this yeah. philosophy these are, these are important parts Very important yeah. In the Shaivite philosophy The final goal could you say could you tell me is it union what is the final goal of the Shaivite? Final goal of, uh, in Shaivite philosophy is uh, when individual unites with uh, universal consciousness. With the universal consciousness. Yes. And that universal consciousness is God. Is God. It, is it in use all the time Swamiji? You just uh, have to look for it? Mm -hmm. You know, universal consciousness, uh, you'll find in, in each and every individual, but it is in the background. Mm -hmm. It is in the subsided state at this, at this time. When you practice and meditate on, on some point explained by your master, then by and by this individuality uh, vanishes in universality and time comes when universe, universal consciousness arises in one's own body and he experiences that universal consciousness and that is the state of God experience but uh, that experience experiencing that universal consciousness is not direct experience how do, how does how do you even know when you're even approaching something like that Swamiji how, what are your signposts on the road? Memory comes in you. Memory. Memory comes in you. Oh, I was, I was, I was universal consciousness already previously, right. and I didn't know it. I see. This is the sign of that experience. Memory of past things. You feel, at the, at the at the time of rising of that universal consciousness in you, you feel uh, there is memory. Uh, as if you've been there memory before, as if you have felt there before. Yes. Let's see. Yes. S Swamiji, this super conscious state that you you kind of recognize when it hits you, you think, oh, I felt this before. Then what happens? Then what are the signs for a man or a woman into yoga like that? What what do they what do they watch for? What do, where do they go from there? They don't watch. They feel that that consciousness, God consciousness, uh, as the flood and fountains, fountains of excess of joy. Happiness. Happiness. No, not joy. It is super sexual joy. A sexual happiness. It is, it is not uh, individual sexual joy. It is super sexual joy. Uh, say, hundred thousand million times more dense joy than that sexual joy. And it, and it continues a long time. It continues a long time and it flows. Flows in each and every vein of your body. You are intoxicated with that bliss. And, and you just feel but it over and hours and hours or days? No, no, it, it remains only for three or four seconds and the rest of life is intoxicated. The rest of your life is affected by that? If it remains 
according to the theory of Ivanov, that if it remains for uh, one hour, then you, this body won't exist. You die. Only, yes. You die. Yeah. You yeah. cannot sustain. You cannot tolerate. You cannot tolerate that intensity of joy in this limited body. You have to throw this, shatter this. Uh, one with the divine. Like super sexual joy. It's just such a tremendous joy state. Do yogis go into this feeling when they die? Is this what death is to a yogi? Yes. That's why they don't fear yes, it. Yes. They love it. They love death. And they love they death. Love death. I'll run.